Greetings one and all. So I had a request to talk about changing the default font. This is actually really useful, particularly as our workstations are starting to get higher and higher resolution screens. So changing the 5250 font, what is he talking about? Well, let's just get back into this down there. So the font inside this 5250 session. Well, that's not too bad. Well, this is the default font, the IBM 3270. Uh, and that's fine until you start to try and scale it. And you'll see that it really doesn't scale that well at all. If I uh, log on, then it hasn't scaled. I've just got a big uh, area all around the edge, which is just not in use. However, if I went in and played with a font, so there's a couple of places you can do it in the configure screen here and play with the font there. Pick the one you like, but there is another one that's on just about everything called PCOM the old personal communications font. Uh, if you do it that way, it will actually uh, end the session and restart it again. Okay, if you show you another one where it doesn't do that. So in here, you see how that now scales nicely? i just go in and change the font in here. So it's a bit of top credit uh, appearance font. If I put it back to the way it was before, the IBM 3271, Okay, that does the same thing, but doesn't uh, cause you to end your session and restart it. You see that gap all around the edge? So we're going to go to a different font, okay? And we're going to use one that scales more nicely. And if you've got a specific font that you like, by all means do. So preferences, appearance, font. Uh, for the purposes of this, this demo, I'm going to go with the PCOM one, okay? And switch that, and you see how that scales much more nicely. So the, if you've got a big screen, it fills it out nicely. If you've got anything else you want me to discuss, ruminate upon, uh, please give me some feedback. Uh, until then, TTFN, good to speak to you. Ta-ta for now.